One of the most important things in storage tech is sorting speed. However, we often sacrifice it to gain other advantages such as less lag or more compact designs. However, this thing is the solution to get insane sorting speeds, much faster than this output hopper could ever consume. Because if you think about this, most filters work in a system where the items go into the entry hopper and then get put into a chest or even injected into a water stream or for further processing. However, with this thing, we skip this stage because we only take in a single item. Then one item gets injected by the dropper and the rest of the stack by being pushed by the water diagonally and this trapdoor opening ends up in the same water stream allowing us to sort instead of a single item an entire stack of items at once this is the solution to one of the most requested features of storages that I have made in the past such as the USS and that is handling obscene amounts of player input because it's pretty quick to sort shulker boxes, and I have shown you the designs for that. But this allows you to also sort out the entire inventory of full of junk that the player dumps into a storage incredibly quickly. So let's take a look at the demonstration, because my explanation probably doesn't make it justice. I have 10 of these set up here, and I have a chest with 10 different item types. This would take forever to sort normally. You would have also have to have a loop with the water stream going over and over. The way this operates allows it to be effectively infinitely tileable. It is two blocks wide, this water stream thing is four blocks wide. This design wasn't made by me. This has been made by a person called Hri Stone. I ho hope I said that correctly. I will leave his name and hopefully I can find a link to something he has in the description. If we take a look at this, we should get all the items. Perfect. So, how does this even operate? Firstly, we need to do something called stack separation. This is done by this machine. If you look closely, it always sends a single stack through. When the item touches this pressure plate, this the trap door closes, and due to some feature of the game allows only the one item to one item entity to go through even though they are all aligned they were all in the same spot somehow the game still detected which one was the first one and let that one go this has also not been my, uh, invented by me or anything like that it has been known for quite a while i think this one is very similar to the one that methods used. I also set up this hopper locking here. It is set on a rather long clock. I believe this is 4 times 2, that's 8 times 4, that's 32 game takes. It shouldn't be pretty long, but it's still 2 items per game take sorting. Normally uh, Hopper takes 8 game ticks to sort an item, so this is still many times faster than uh, any sort of normal sorting system you could make. I slightly contributed to this design. To Initially I did not use the setup with the repeaters here on top. You also notice this one is slightly different timed. 
And that was because when I tested the original one, you can see it later in the possible applications, it sometimes failed to sort the items. This is something you need to be incredibly careful of. I'll show you what happens. So I'll just take this gray wool. Sometimes you can get a case. You saw it there, it's slightly clipped into the trapdoor. When that's happening, that's why you need to test these things in creative. This is a much more advanced design than usual. It might look like it's working, but it sometimes fails. I have no idea what determines that this specific one, not this one, or this one, or I don't know, this one, fails. The item speed in this water stream behaves really strangely for some reason, like you would expect it okay to go start pretty quick here, then slow down as it's going through this, and then pick up speed and th that just consistently repeats, but that's not the case. It, like, sometimes it is faster in like the every third or second set of these water streams, it's really weird. I also slightly optimized this setup here. I think he used more redstone dust and less repeaters, but repeaters are less laggy, so that's quite advantageous to use more repeaters. And I also slightly changed the water stream using these leaves to make it more compact. And the keen eye of you already realized what's going on here. How you could use this with the, for example, the 2D storage systems that I have shown recently. So let's go over that. Firstly, you can just turn it into a very simple multi-item sorter. This is dangerous. But it can work if you need to sort a huge amount of items, but you don't have too many items of the same type. So that's when this could work really nicely. Because this is aligned in such a way that all of the items fall into this hopper. And if you have seen my videos, you know that this is a pretty nice setup if you want to have a large capacity below it, because you can then do something like this. And this is two blocks wide. And also for the hopper locking, you, required, you are required to have the gap, so this isn't too much of a hindrance. You could also make it for the sin single item type, like this, where you shift the setup by one block. Or you can even do this thing, where you shift it sideways. This is probably the most complex one to build. But if you line this up properly, you can have a multi-item sorter this compact, with a speed that's far beyond anything any normal multi-item sorter could ever hope for. And you can have multiple of these, like here. I have sets of two, yeah, so these two, so, so you can fully customize this for any of the 2D layouts you might want, and you can see here the old design with the extra redstone and this sort of configuration. This might be interesting if you have a different water stream setup for the start, because this opens the trapdoor quicker than this setup here. But I think it's probably a bit better to just have an extra set here and don't have the item too quick and therefore have the same layout multiplied. So, this is a combination of existing technologies 
some of the really nice use cases for this are if you want to not have too many filters. Because if you, for example, have a very powerful farm and you have, let's say, the farm for iron golems and you produce a large amount of poppies and iron ingots, you want to separate them. You could make a large amount of box loaders that have a filter on top but that filter on top of each of the box loaders I believe is at least an extra hopper for each. This thing allows you to do the filtering with like two hoppers and you get I don't know something like 10 times the speed or something crazy like that. Allowing you to save massively on that. Another option would be, as I mentioned, with the things like the USS that people wanted me to build. You could make a like an obscene storage that is designed to be basically as perfect as possible, and you use this setup to filter out the items from a player dumping them into it. Because currently there is a technology for that, that somewhat competes with this, but it's massively more complex. And that is to split the stacks and then put them into shulker boxes and then keep merging the shulker boxes together. This is way more primitive, it achieves the goals way better in my opinion, it's way more understandable, way easier to maintain, you don't have some kind of possibly huge cache of not merged boxes left, you always send, sort the items properly to the last one. This has no backlog, I think. It only keeps one item here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it only keeps one item here and the dropper is empty actually. So this is really nice for that. It doesn't. You don't need to pre-fill this. And it even has a really cute feature where you can do something like this. You take out the items and you can start it up. Let me demonstrate that with like multiple of these so you can see it nicely. I guess you will have to believe me that it works for more than first three. And now, it will remember the order I threw this into. You can see the first one I sent. And we should get a case where this one is white, grey and grey. So yeah, this even allows you to start it up very easily. You just dump a stack of each of the items into it in the order you want these to be. You don't need to, like, like I mentioned, pre-fill anything below them, unlike, for example, the double speed sorters. If you ever use the double speed sorters, you'll know that those are much more annoying to fill up. Because you need multiple stacks, especially when you are using double speed shulker box loaders with filters. <coughs> so. I don't think there is too much else to say about this. I am not showing you the fastest version of this. That's also something maybe I should point out. There have been designs that are much faster than this. I think people got it down to like something like 8 game ticks or something crazy like that. You can certainly do that. In my opinion, this is this configuration right here is by far the best because it's the simplest. It doesn't require you to do any sort of alterations with like slime, honey. It's also dirt cheap. Only this redstone block is slightly annoying, that it, but you can't really get around it, I believe. Actually, you can. You can do something. No, you can't because you need this face here of the block, never mind, so we can't even 
use a, a lever. So yeah, I guess you have to use some redstone blocks. But that shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's also incredibly like friendly. The only slightly unoptimized part is this redstone dust being fully powered. From 0 to single strike 15. But people have no problem with that using the single strength 15 filters. And this thing is way more powerful than those, so I think you, you will survive that. You also don't need these leaves necessarily. If you don't have other options, you can, for example, use more stairs. This works too. You probably don't need the locking, I just put it here because some people really love it for some inexplicable reason. Especially when you are going to build only a couple of these, locking them isn't going to change too much. You can obviously use other types of these stack separators. This one is a pretty slow one. But this can handle them at pretty quick rates. I, I think we, I could have made this significantly faster and it would still work. And this was just way too simple not to use. Yeah, I think that's everything for this video. I hope you liked it. Maybe a slight change from the usual content, where I show you something that someone else invented. But at least it saved me a huge amount of work, so... I'm very happy that the guys did this. And have a nice day! I hope you like the video and share... Like, subscribe, comment, whatever.